Well, hello, everyone. I'm John Victor Jacobson, uh, the division manager of the JDS, Jacobson Drywall Shapes uh, uh, operation here at Jacobson & Company. And the first thing I had to do was to take this building here, uh, 4,000 square feet, and uh, redo the floors, replace the plywoods, uh, coat it with epoxy, and paint the walls, and, br and bring in... Uh, compressed air and do all that so that we could uh, and then also create a uh, an exhaust system there you can see them fans working behind me there and uh, just keep an eye on what's going on here so um, we cut out a V groove this is how it starts and then uh, we're just going to speed this up Okay, so we're going to make a second V-groove there, and uh, so we're speeding this up just a little bit, and then uh, now we take the compressed air and we blow the uh, dust out of the V-groove, and then uh, we take these battens here, pick up the piece, bring it over, spread it out. And then we're going to take and uh, prime it. So this was in the early days. We would prime it with this liquid and it would have to take uh, quite a while to dry and it didn't always uh, dry as fast as you would like it to. But uh, there we have the um, fans back there sucking out all the dust. And I made a duct system that goes all the way out to the back there and you can see how that works there it is and that takes time and that takes a lot of energy and that takes a lot of getting it done right because if you don't get it done right you got problems so this is the original um uh glue gun we were using we were using these plugs that were about two inches in diameter and it took a real long time to um to do it and uh, you can see right there, this is in real time, uh, and it does uh, kill a lot of time. There it is. So now I take it and I fold it up into a 90 degree bend. I use a square there to make it hold. And then I give it a little bit of a uh, glue down the center there, and then I give it a clean out too. So I'm just gonna take a little piece and just wipe it so that we have a nice, clean, finished product there. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the other side, and I'll speed that up, okay? Let's hold on there. And this all took a lot of time here with this old glue gun uh, that was uh, recommended and supplied by the manufacturer. It just takes a long time, and this is in double time you're seeing this. So this really killed a lot of our time, and uh, uh, all I can say is it did not work well. Uh, it could have been a lot better, and uh, in the end, the system worked, but we had to find a better way, okay? So this is how we stack them, and then eventually we pack them on those dollies down to the right there, and you can see what I'm doing there. I'm wrapping it. And uh, the next thing here is a glue gun from heaven, right there. This here's pretty good. And it is a bulk glue gun. And I'm gonna go not into much detail about that. And uh, so that worked pretty well. You just see how fast this goes. It's just really nice. And it's a bulk glue gun. And uh, it took us a lot of time and a lot of research and a lot of energy to get this all together. But we got it together and uh, uh, it worked out quite well for us. And that's the bulk glue gun right there. And uh, we can do all kinds of shapes. You can just take a look. It took us a lot of time to figure out how to make uh, these round shapes and some of these step shapes that you're gonna see here. And uh, yeah, we spent a lot of time and energy and uh, research and development to get this done right. And in the end, 
we were able to ship out on a regular basis just about any amount of this product that you could uh, need or want. Uh, hi Mike, I just want to let you know that there are two bands on this uh, on this particular setup here. One band here is around the product, including a piece of tonnage that I have so that the forklift can pick it up, the, uh, the boom truck. The second uh, band, it wraps around the whole the whole entire skid so that it uh, is safe in transit. So keep that in mind when you're offloading it and uh, use that to your advantage. Uh, I will also send you some shrink rock. Cut. Well, okay, that there's the JDS story, uh, how we turned uh, flat boards of drywall into drywall shapes here at Jacobson & Company. It was a long, hard road, but we made it work, and we uh, are very proud of that accomplishment. Yeah, baby. Hoo-wee. Pink.